Did you know that the average surface temperature of our planet Earth is a mild 14 degrees Celsius? But things get much hotter as we look at other substances. Take water, for example. At sea level, it boils at around 100 degrees Celsius. That's when it turns into steam and starts to rise in the form of vapor. But what about metals? Well, the melting point of lead is about 327.5 degrees Celsius. That means if you heat lead to that temperature, it transforms from a solid into a liquid. Gold, on the other hand, melts at a scorching 1064 degrees Celsius, while iron needs to reach a blistering 1538 degrees Celsius before it turns into a molten state. And if we talk about tungsten, which holds the record for the highest known melting point, it takes an astonishing 3,422 degrees Celsius to make it melt. Now let's shift our attention to the celestial realm. The surface of our closest star, the Sun, is a staggering 5,505 degrees Celsius. And if we go even deeper, down into the Sun's core, we find temperatures reaching a mind-blowing 15 million degrees Celsius. That's where nuclear fusion reactions occur releasing tremendous amounts of energy. But wait, there's more. The temperatures generated by nuclear bomb explosions can theoretically soar up to 100 million degrees Celsius. Such incredible heat could instantly vaporize anything in its path, including gigantic creatures like African elephants. It's hard to imagine anything hotter than that, right? Well, think again. Scientists have pushed the limits by using a powerful machine called the Large Hadron Collider. By colliding lead ions together at nearly the speed of light, they've created conditions reaching a mind-boggling 5,500 trillion degrees Celsius. That's approximately 366,666 times hotter than the Sun's core temperature. But even this extreme temperature isn't the end of the story. In today's video, we're introducing a mind-bending concept, the Planck temperature, also known as the absolute hot. This is the highest temperature theoretically possible in the universe. Its value is an incredible 1.417 times 10 to the power 32 degrees Celsius, which is 1 decillion 417 nonillion degrees Celsius. Beyond this temperature, the energy of particles becomes so immense that gravity itself loses its grip. It's believed that this absolute hot temperature was only approached for a brief moment, approximately 10,000 seconds after the Big Bang. In contrast to absolute hot, we have absolute zero. If you've taken a physics class, you've likely learned the concept of absolute zero. Apart from being the amount of female attention that I get, it is scientifically understood to be the coldest possible temperature. This temperature is constant throughout the universe, and it is negative 273.15 degrees Celsius, or negative 459.67 degrees Fahrenheit, or zero Kelvin. So, now the question arises, why is it possible for temperature in the universe to reach hundreds of millions of degrees, while the lowest temperature is only negative 273.15 degrees Celsius? temperature seems to have no limits when it comes to extreme heat in the universe, yet it has a definite lower boundary. Can the temperature go even lower than this? To understand this, let's delve into the nature of temperature. The temperature of an object is a result of the movement of its atoms. The more atomic movement there is, the higher the temperature. As particles lose their kinetic energy to entropy, the object becomes colder. Absolute zero is the temperature at which all particles decide to take a break from their moves. However, even at absolute zero, atoms still slightly vibrate due to zero-point energy, which is essential for quantum mechanics. Absolute zero means there is no molecular movement capable of generating enough kinetic energy to transfer to another system. Heat, in essence, is the kinetic energy of an object resulting from the movement of atoms and molecules. Faster particle movements leads to more kinetic energy, and thus more heat. Now let's compare the temperatures of different objects in the universe to gain perspective on the overall temperature state. Starting with absolute zero, 
we haven't directly observed anything at that temperature, but we have come close to it. The coldest place scientists have observed in space is the Boomerang Nebula, located about 5,000 light years away from Earth. It has a temperature of approximately 1.15 Kelvin, which is just 1.15 degrees above absolute zero. The rapid expansion of gases within this nebula causes the temperature to plummet. For comparison, the background temperature of the universe is 2.7 Kelvin. You might wonder why the temperature doesn't reach absolute zero. Well, the remnant heat from the Big Bang prevents it from getting that cold. It's truly awe-inspiring to think that even after 13.8 billion years since the Big Bang, the universe continues to resist the pull of entropy. This nebula is a celestial cloud composed of dust and ionized gases, showcasing a young planetary nebula with a dying red giant star at its core. Once similar to our own sun, this star has entered its final stages, shedding its outer layers as expected. However, it's doing so at a mind-boggling rate, about 100 times faster than other dying stars. In fact, it has lost nearly one and a half times the mass of our sun over the past 1,500 years, a stunning feat considering it's happening 100 billion times faster than our sun. This rapid loss of mass propels gases away at a staggering speed of 101 miles per second, 164 kilometers per second, dissipating an immense amount of heat energy. Consequently, the temperature within this nebula plunges to extremely frigid levels. Surprisingly, humans have managed to create an even colder temperature. In the cold atom laboratory aboard the International Space Station ISS, scientists achieved a temperature 0.15 degrees Celsius colder than the Boomerang Nebula, which is just one degree above absolute zero. This artificial temperature, 1 Kelvin, or negative 272.15 degrees Celsius, is the coldest ever achieved. Well, Enough with the coldness for today. As we continue to unravel the mysteries of the universe, it's awe-inspiring to realize that temperature, a measure of atomic movement, plays a fundamental role in shaping our world. From the tiniest particles to the grandest celestial bodies, temperature influences everything. So, next time you feel the warmth of the sun or shiver in the winter cold, remember that temperature is not just a number. It's a reflection of the astonishing range of energy and motion that exists in our universe. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more captivating content.